into it y'all so uh you know playing morphine for you guys and showing you that that repetitive open string pull off what what i like to refer to is the knock county lick east kentucky lick which i learned from george gibson that repetitive droning sound <laughs> It's a little bit different than in morphine, but it's it's awesome. It sounds great. So let's let's jump right into it. Let's talk about the tuning that I'm in. I'm in my with my 1888 Luscom standard banjo here with nylon strings, and my tuning that I'm in is D, D, B flat, F, G, C. That's the tuning that I'm in for Little Birdie. Um, that's where I'm basically, I'm a one whole step down from standard pitch. If you want to play up to standard pitch, the normal tuning for Little Birdie is E, C, G, A, D. E, C, G, A, D. And the way that you start out playing Little Birdie, most of it's out of this little chord. You're going to take your ring finger and your index finger, put your ring finger on the first string at the third fret, I'm sorry. Put your ring finger on the second string at the third fret and put your index finger on the first string at the second fret. Make you that little chord there. F chord, I guess. And your open string pull off is basically your you're hitting and you can do this straight overhand style. You're hitting the third string, but your open string pull off is your ring finger on the second string. That's what it's all about. And then you're, uh, every once in a while, you'll switch over and you'll note that second string. generally will use an up picking style and for a lot of the old timers and I try to do it too a little added percussive emphasis when you play Little Birdie. Little Birdie is a dancing song. It's a banjo dance song for sure. Uh, George Gibson told me that some old old timer once told him that they wore out a new pair of shoes dancing to Little Birdie one night. <laughs> So my, my upstroke technique, basically, like sometimes I'll do an upstroke where I pick up with the ball of my index finger, and then I brush down with these three fingers and come off with the thumb. That's more of a wide open sound. Harsher, chuck, chuck, boom, chicka, boom, chicka sound. 
So on Little Birdie, I like to make it a prettier, softer, more percussive sound. So I, I leave the brush out, and instead of brushing with these three fingers, I let them gently slap the, the banjo head. So what I'm doing is I'm hitting the, the string with the ball of my index finger, and instead of brushing down with these three fingers, I'm just brushing, I'm making sure to hit the bass string, to drone that bass string. I'm just brushing down on the, the bass string with my index and letting my three fingers slap the head and coming off on the thumb. And I keep going back to that second string that I'm noting. My open string and then but I'll note it periodically. that's enough for now y'all um we'll i'll try to maybe do a close-up of that we'll talk more about upstroke up picking in the future we can break down little birdie further that's an important uh east kentucky dance number that that y'all should know you know i don't want everything to be about east kentucky east kentucky it's not like that it's just that's where i learned most of my music from mostly from george gibson who's from there um but that's very kentucky as far as I know. Thanks for watching. You'll see me again shortly.